Hey, everybody, it's me, Greg Boston, CPA and president of QuickBooks Made Easy for Nonprofits, coming at you with the second tip for March 2025. Hi, how's everybody doing? Um, this tip is on special fundraising events, and I thought I would cover it because I'm getting a lot of questions about how to track that. And also, just when I look at data files, Oh my gosh, um, you can't really see in your QuickBooks file how you did on a special fundraising event if you don't set it up correctly. So um, I'm going to show you, and this is this is just going to take a second. It's kind of a teaser because I'm actually going to do a webinar on this coming up next month. But um, I'm going to go into Quickity Books, and I've got a little budget to actual report uh, pulled up where I am showing you really cool way of tracking special fundraising events. So um, I don't use classes for that because then in order to get a PL for the special fundraising event, you got to run a PL by class. And that means there's all these columns on the report. I don't really like that. What I use is I use accounts. And I do this so that when you look at a PL, and I'm looking at a PL right here, you have the income section of the PL, which is right there. And you have the expenses, and that's what you would normally see. But look at how I've got the special fundraising event set up here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. So what I'm doing is I have within the income section of the P&L, yours might say revenue, um, we've got an account here called Special Event Annual Gala, Gala Net, and then we have all the revenues for it. We have all the expenses for it. And because all of them are income accounts, even the expenses, I can easily see a net of how I did on the event. I made $50,000. Um, and what I do is you see the little upside down triangle here. After I set up these accounts, when I run the report, I simply click this to um, make it a little bit to um, uh, collapse it. I couldn't think of the word. So then what you see here is you see the income and you see the expenses of the nonprofit. But the income section is kind of broken out in the way that the board would want to think about it. How much did I make on individual contributions? How much did I make on corporate grants? What did I get in government grants? What did I net from the special event? Because that's what matters. Nobody cares what the gross revenue was from the special event. You want to know what you net, what you made on the event and now we can very easily see it and then miscellaneous program interest income and then we have our total income this is by the way how you're supposed to show it on audits as well as on uh, 990 information tax returns and so people freak out because I'm showing the expenses kind of as income accounts which is kind of weird freaks people out but uh, honestly this is generally accepted accounting principles. So um, that's how you're supposed to show it. So um, there's all kinds of stuff in addition to this uh, related to special fundraising events, how you get the cost of your employees time included there so you can see exactly how um, you really did on the event because you know these special events they take a ton of time um, um so uh that's something that i want to teach you about i want to teach you about entering budgets for special fundraising events i also want to teach you about in-kind contributions both special fundraising events and in-kind contributions have been coming up a lot um, in my uh, uh sessions and when i have tech support calls so what i have done is uh, and I used to teach this, but I hadn't taught it in a while. If you go into QuickBooks Made Easy uh, uh, for nonprofits and you click on live webinars, I have a live webinar that's coming up next month. It's on uh, April the 24th, and it's a two for one session. We're going to cover how to track special fundraising events in QuickBooks Online as well as how to track in kind contributions in QuickBooks Online. So, um, this is where you can go to click on the tickets um, so I invite you to come I believe somewhere at the bottom of this little video is a little coupon to get some money off um, a session I believe is two hours uh, we're gonna have fun we'll play music it's like I normally do um, and I did want to point out I do have some other sessions coming up as well um, we have our three-day fundamental session for both people using desktop and 
people using online. That's where we're going to cover everything you can ever imagine about QuickBooks. We also have an advanced reporting uh, for reimbursement-based grants coming up on May the 29th. Uh, we have tracking funds in QuickBooks June the 26th. We've actually never taught that before. Uh, and uh, I think that's the stuff that we have coming up uh, over the next two or three months. So again, go to QuickBooks Made Easy for Nonprofits, sign up for this stuff, and then uh, you can ask me questions and we can have fun. <laughs> I'll talk to you later.